Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving polynomial equations. And for today's video, meron lang tayong dalawang equations na i-solve natin. And ginawa ko siyang video na ito, ginawa tong video na ito because a lot of you are requesting, Sir, how are we going to solve polynomial equations? Or gumawa daw ako ng videos about this. So without further ado, let's do this topic. The first equation is this. We have x cubed plus 3 x square minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. By the way guys, when you're solving polynomial equations, ang pinaka-target nyo dito is to solve for, or is to find or to solve for the value of x or the roots of the equation. Ngayon, if notice nyo, the degree or the highest exponent of the variable x is 3. Ibig sabihin yan, meron kayong 3 possible roots. Nakadepende kasi sa degree of the polynomial kung ilang roots ang meron siya sa isang equation. Okay? So, yun lang. Let's start with this one. So, this one is quite different or quite difficult compared to quadratic equation kasi yung kanyang degree is 3. So, meron tayong 4 terms. Una kong gagawin dito when I encounter this kind of polynomial na meron 4 terms is I will check if kaya ba siya ng factoring by grouping. Sir, how are we going to determine kung kaya ba siya ng factoring by grouping? Kunin nyo yung ratio ng dalawang groups ng equation. First, kunin natin yung ratio ng... Ito ay yung ratio nito. Meron tayo itong coefficient na 1. In which 1 and 3, that is 1, is 2, 3. Okay? Ngayon naman, for the second group, ito yung second group natin, negative 4x minus 12. The coefficients are negative 4 is 2, negative 12. Kapag sinimplify nyo yan, that is the same as 1 is to 3 or 1 third. Ngayon, kung kapansin nyo, since the ratios are equal, ibig sabihin, it is possible for us to factor this one or solve this one by grouping. Sir, paano ginagawa ang factoring by grouping? First, i-group natin yung ating or divide natin into two groups yung ating polynomial equation. We have x cubed plus 3x squared. Ito first group natin. Our second group is this. Lagyan mo plus, enclosed by parenthesis, negative 4x minus 12, and then equal to 0. Kung notice nyo, here, meron siyang common monomial factor, which is x squared. Di ba common yung x squared? Ilabas natin yung x squared dito, and then, pinactor na natin, Para makuha mo yun sa loob ng parenthesis dito, i-divide mo lang to by gamit tayo ng ibang marker. Masansya na medyo maingay yung mga aso. Masaya lang sila. So, we will divide this by x squared and we will also divide this by x squared para makuha natin yung factor dito sa loob. So, what will happen is that if you have x cubed over x squared, that is simply x. Dito naman, 3x squared divided by x, x squared that is positive 3 or plus 3. Ito yung factors ito ngayon. For the other group, as you can see, ang common sa kanila is negative 4. So, ilabas natin yung negative 4, it will become minus 4. At para makuha sa loob ng parenthesis, what you need to do is to divide, is to divide each term by negative 4 by negative 4. Negative 4x divided by 4 is simply x. Negative 4 divided by negative... Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is positive 3. So, gumamit ako ng red. So, I'm going to change this color. That is x plus 3. So, as you can see, meron ng common. Meron ng common factor. Labas lang natin. Labas natin yung x plus 3. That is x plus 3. Times, ito yung matitira. x square minus 4. So, pansin nyo mabuti. Pinuha ko yung common factor, which is x plus 3. Then, ang natira is x squared minus 4. And then, equal to 0. But guys, we're not yet done. Kasi yung factors natin, na x squared minus, two, uh, minus 4, can be also factored out using difference of 2 squares. Um, pwede natin siya yung continue dito. Meron na tayong x plus 3. Tapos, yung ating x squared minus 4. 
May factor pa yan guys Ang factors niya ay ito So ito lang 1 to x plus 3 Then Ang factors ito ay x minus 2 Then x plus 2 Dapat alam nyo na to Then equal to 0 As you can see Meron tayong tatlong factors So meron tayong possible 3 roots na makukuha So lahat sila equate mo by 0 Lahat ng factors ha x plus 3 is equal to 0 Then your x is equal to negative 3 Nakuha Second factor mo x minus 2 is equal to 0 Solve for x Your x is equal to positive 2 Yan yung second root natin Third factor x plus 2 is equal to 0 Solve for x Your x is equal to negative 2 Ito na ngayon yung tatlong possible roots ng equation na x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, i-box lang natin. Yan. So, let's have the second example, guys. For the second example, this one is also um, an equation with the degree of 3. So, same thing pa rin, guys. 3 possible roots pa rin. Pero, dito, um, Malabo nang gamamit tayo ng factoring by grouping Kasi tatlong terms lang yun eh Diba? Hindi mo sila mag-group into two groups na tigda dalawang terms So what will happen here? Pwede nyo gamitin dito yung synthetic division Pwede kang gamit ng long division Pwede kang gamit ng rational root theorem Kung ano yung natutunan nyo sa pag-solve ng polynomials Pero to make it quick Ang gagawin natin, gagamit tayong trial and error We're in Um Isip, kukuha tayo sa mga factors ng 6 na gagamitin natin. Factors ng 6 ay, ano ba? List lang natin ha. We have 1, negative 1, negative 2, positive 2, negative 3, positive 3, 6, and negative 6. Normally, mag-try and error tayo sa dalawang to, sa pinakamababa. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, um, isipin natin na ito yung isa sa mga factors or roots niya. 1. So, i-try natin ngayon kung magiging root ba siya ng polynomial equation na to. Kap dapat maging 0 yung remainder natin kapag gumamit tayong synthetic division. Dito meron tayo itong coefficient na 1. So, that is 1. Since wala tayong x squared dito, 0. Then, copy your negative 7. Tapos, 6. So, sana marunong na kayo mag-synthetic division kasi kung hindi nyo to alam, ang mangyayari dito, abutin kayo ng shamsham or hindi nyo makakaya itong isolve. So, bring down 1 muna tayo. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay? Tama? Then, lagyan mo dito 1. Add mo silang dalawa. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 ulit. So, another 1 dito guys. Add mo silang dalawa. That is negative 6. Okay? Then, negative 6 times 1, that is negative 6. Add natin itong dalawang, itong dalawang to, 6 plus negative 6, definitely, this is 0. Since 0 ang last mo, ito yung remainder mo. Okay? This is your remainder. Now, ayun, nachambahan natin, sa unang trial natin, normally kasi pag na trial error ka, sa unang magkakamali ka eh. Nachambahan natin, nak nakatama tayo ng sagot na 0 agad to. If this remainder is 0, automatically, again, automatically, guys, automatically, root ni x cubed minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0, c1. Or, kapag ginawa natin siyang bilang factor, ito siya. x minus 1 yan. Tama? Kasi ililipat mo yun, transpose mo yun eh. Kaya x minus 1 yan. Ngayon, sir, what about yan, no? The other factor kasi, di ba x cubed minus 7x yan plus 6? Eto na siya. Puntahan nyo to. Since ito ay x cubed, mag-minus lang tayo ng 1. Magiging x square yan. Eto plus x minus 6. So, ang factors natin ngayon dito is ito. x minus 1 times x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Naging quadratic yung ating second factor. So, ito, since quadratic na to, this one is quite easy to factor. So, let's factor negative 6, uh, x squared plus x minus 6. Ang factors nyo na ito. 
x minus 1. Factors ito ay um, x plus 3, then x minus 2 equal to 0. Sir, bakit naging, oh, nahulog yung ilaw ko. Bakit naging, um, ganyan yung factors yan, sir. Bakit naging x plus 3, x minus 2. Going back to quadratic equation, eto, uh, since negative yung 6 natin, dapat different signs sila. Tapos, since ito ay positive 1, meron tayo itong coefficient to 1. Dapat kaya pag inad, ito ah, negative 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Tapos dapat kapag inad mo to, itong dalawang numbers na to, or constant ito, magiging, magiging sum nila is yung coefficient ng middle term, which is 1. So 3 plus negative 2, that is positive 1. Definitely, these are the factors. Now, if these are the factors, matik na yan, guys. Ang mangyari dito, the roots are x minus 1, diba? It's equal to 0. Nakuha na natin kanina, x is equal to 1. This is the first root. Second factor mo, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Equate mo lahat as 0. Solving for x, x is equal to neg negative 3. Third factor mo, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Solve for x, transpose mo na lang yan para mas mabilis. x is equal to 2. So these are the factors. The factors are 1, negative 3, and positive 2. So, yun guys, maraming different ways on how to solve this one. Didiscartihan nyo lang. Okay? So, I, I hope guys you learned something from this video. And sana sa mga nag-request uh, for this video, mapanood nyo to. And please do share this video to your classmates. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!